Hi yarn lovers, it's Gary and I'm coming to you from my living room here in Vancouver, Canada. So welcome, welcome, welcome. This is video number 16 and today is November 29th, 2019. It is Black Friday. I believe our neighbours uh, down in the States celebrated their Thanksgiving yesterday. So happy Thanksgiving to all Americans. And I have got a special un boxing of yarn today. Uh, I purchased this yarn from Hovium when they had their big mega 40% off everything sale. It was in lieu of the uh, website shopfront closing in the international section. Uh, they are still operating in Turkey to their local customers and uh, providing that service to uh, people who live in Turkey. But any, uh, the international part uh, shut down, I think, about three weeks ago. So I'm going to uh, do an unboxing. So uh, enjoy the next little while. I'll be showcasing some of these purchases that I made and giving price points as well that I believe are in American, is in American currency. And um, it is with the 40% discount applied. Okay, many of the items that I'm going to be revealing or showing you from the Hobium uh, sale that I purchased these yarns from are the Lam Lamia collection and a few others. So, this is the first uh, packs of three that I bought. It's in the Lamia collection called Wool Easy. And I got it in this grey colour. It's kind of more of a, a warm grey, almost beige. And a navy blue. So, I've opened this one already. This one I sneaked a few squeezes of. And it's just super soft and a wonderful yarn that you wouldn't even have to wear undergarment with. It's, it's a very soft an agreeable yarn for uh, wearing on your skin. A little bit about it is, let me see, we have here is 100 grams, 210 meters, 80% acrylic, 20% wool. They're classifying it as a four weight and I would agree. And they're suggesting needles of five millimeters or hook of four millimeters. You can machine wash this and lay flat to dry. The color code number is L202 and the five pack was $5.81. That would mean that each skein in this set was a little under two US dollars. A fantastic deal. I was thinking of perhaps maybe utilizing these two colors together in a scarf or a, a um, hat and scarf set. There's potentially enough uh, yarn here to do uh, a top as well. So, undecided. This one here is in the color way gray and the code is L206. The next one also from Lamia is just full. And I got two packs. This one comes in a pack of 10. And I also got the navy blue. And I got the neutral grey or beige. And you can see a trend happening here. I don't know whether you shoppers also do this. But you get something stuck in your mind that you want to achieve. And then you go in ahead and buy that kind of colourway or variety of wool or yarn in um, all the collections when you're shopping. So again, navy blue and a neutral. So a little bit about this one. One for me, one for you. Just like Krista does on Secret Yarnery. That's the label. 50 grams, 116 meters. It's 100% recycled wool. It's classified as a two, but I would say it's a three. 
I'm only judging that because the next part is the needle and hook recommendation. So it says here four to five millimeters in both hook or needles. And um, I can tell as well, it needs, it's a little thicker. And this one has like the flex through it. I really like that. So when it works up, it's gonna have a little variation in the color. And with this one, it is 100% recycled wool. So when I feel this, I don't feel any wool in it whatsoever. It feels more like cotton to me. But I guess maybe that's through the process of the recycling. All the, the wool factors and the halo have, uh, have been obliterated. And the washing instructions, hand wash, lay flat to dry. Color code is LT011. Enough in here, because you're going to get uh, over a thousand meters of yarn to do a top. And again, I could uh, do a, um, a top, a scarf, uh, a hat and scarf set. And these ones for the, for the one bag of 10 was... 11.25 US. A little bit about this one. The colorway here is gray and the code is LT007. The next one I, I got was another Lamir bag of five in the natural wool. And this one comes in a hank form. And I also had a squish, a secret squish of this one. Uh, take that out. It's very comparable to Cascades 220 Merino wool. Uh, so soft and not scaly at all. I see that there's a little anomaly there of a knot. So hopefully there's not too many of those through the skein. And it's 100 grams, 200 meters. The It's 100% wool, classified as a four weight and they're suggesting four to five uh, millimeter knitting needles or a four millimeter crochet hook. It's machine washed, wash, uh, sorry, it's uh, hand washed and lay flat to dry. And this one is from South America. So I guess the fiber content is a product perhaps of uh, South America, but I'm not too sure whether the manufacturer is from Turkey. And the other uh, two that I presented were product of Turkey. So this one you get the five, five in the pack and it is in the beige colorway or if you want the code it's H2 and this is $19.17 which is good value for 100% wool. The next one I have is um, from a collection that Hobium sold called Yarn Art. And I have secretly squished this one too. So I can show you the label. So Yarn Art Tweed is the, um, the collection. And you get five in a pack. The uh, color for th from this one is gray, and the color code is 225. And this one says that you can machine wash it, but lay flat to dry. And the fiber content is 30% wool, 60% acrylic, 10% viscose, which is the flex that run through the yarn. And it's made in Turkey. They're saying it's a fine two, but no, that's not a fine two. That's a kind of a three to four classification. The knitting needles are four mil 3.5 millimeter or a crochet hook of four millimeters. So this bag of five was, I'll look down here, $10.58. So just a little um, over 
$2 US per skein. And this one here, just to give you the um, colorway name and code, was beige, and its code is 220. Excuse me, I'm a bit gassy. Uh, the next one I got was Gazelle Rock and Roll. I have never used any of these yarns so far that I'm presenting, so it was a little bit of a, um, a risk that I was taking. But I saw a couple of unbox unboxing um, videos out there that sh showcased these yarns. So I was kind of like assured when I bought them, but I hadn't had them in hand before. So I'm delighted that most of the purchase was a success with a few bumps in the way as well, which I'll show you in a, in a little bit. But getting back to Gazelle Rock and Roll. One for you, one for me. So this one is um, 50 grams and in that you get 115 meters. And the color number here is 13189 and the name is Claret. It has this lovely sheen to it. It reflects the light just wonderfully. So the, the wool con, uh, sorry, the uh, the fiber uh, composition is 21 acrylic, 70 polyamide, and 9% lana merino. It doesn't say where it's made, but I would say most likely it would be Turkey. The washing instructions are to hand wash and then lay flat to dry. You have enough in this pack here, the 10 balls, you get over a thousand meters. You could do a top, and I'm thinking uh, my next little experimentation after I do my colorwork sweaters will be to do a sweater with a hoodie and pockets, like a pouch pocket, and cardigans with also pockets. So this one I don't feel would be a cardigan, but it might have a, a hood on it if I have enough uh, in the project to do uh, a hooded sweater. And the Rock and Roll Claret bag of 10 costs $15.30. Uh, the next thing I have is the Etrophil Puzzle Cake. So it goes from this wonderful gradation of uh, kind of like a beigey ice blue into an uh, ultramarine blue. And I've got two of them, uh, so I might hold them together to make the project work up quicker, which means I'll have to change up my uh, needle or hook size. So a little bit about this yarn is that it's made in Turkey. You get, uh, I think there was like 250 grams, a thousand meters. It's considered a super fine one and Suggest, uh, suggests here a 2.5 millimeter uh, set of knitting needles or a three millimeter crochet hook. You can machine wash this and lay flat to dry. So it has that wonderful center pull and the fiber content is 55 organic cotton and 45 anti-peeling acrylic. So it's very comparable to ice um, remix cake. Ice Yarns has uh, something called Remix, Ice Remix, and it's uh, very comparable to that. I would say that the uh, spin on it is a little different though. With the ice, the strands are very loose, and this one is a bit more compact and spun tighter. So, and you get more in the cake as well. So, the value of each of these cakes was $9.83. And the, uh, the color way name is called Blue Beige and the code number for it is PZ010. And I also got it in the colorway green turquoise. The, and, the, and the code is PZ005. Look at those wonderful colors. 
and I can show you on the ball band that's a suggestion of what you can make with it something very flowy that can drape good for the spring and the colors just work up well with uh, garment for spring in greens greens my favorite color so now we're going to move into um oh i have one more pack that didn't come in a plastic bag but i bought these as a set and it's also lamia angora is the collection's name and it's 50 grams 200 sorry 125 meters the composition here of the fibers are 15% of 15 Angora, 35% viscose, and 50% Palmid. I don't know what Palmid is. The color lot number is, oh, sorry, the color code is L006. And this is classified as a three weight, I would agree, using the suggestion here is four millimeter needles or four, mil or four millimeter crochet hook. You can machine wash and lay flat to dry. So I was thinking with this set of five that I got in the pack that I would uh, do some framing work around design, whether it's pockets or the hem, or uh, maybe if I'm crocheting squares that I would frame it with, uh, with this black. I don't have black in my stash, so this is, uh, going to be great. I have charcoal, I have dark colors like uh, dark blue and dark greens that are almost black but not a true black. So um, these will be great for my collection. Uh, let's have a look. So the five in the set cost me eight dollars and one cents or one cent. The next thing I got I should have got more of because I am so excited to work this one up. It's called Yarn Art, Baby Active. And it's also made in Turkey. And it's considered a three weight yarn, suggesting four millimeters in both a crochet hook or knitting needles. And it's 100 grams. In that you get 260 meters and it's a hundred percent premium acrylic so it's a variegated yarn with um, speckles of blue I love it I think that's gonna work up really nicely and I wish I would have got some more of this but who knows Hobia might come back and then I can get my chance then uh, what do we have here for price point is a dollar ninety eight for this skein that's amazing and it's so squishy I love it so um, the next one that I got were a little interesting I'll say the fir these first two that I'm going to show you I'm quite happy and surprised that I'll be out of my, my comfort zone using because they're so colorful um, and I wanted to do get something different to try uh, something new so these are the skeins that I got in the same uh, family it's called the yarn art jeans crazy and I got two different colorways we'll talk about this one first so the color number here is 7201 and in my invoicing it just says variegated so that it doesn't have a name wonderful yellows and greens very spring and they're classifying it as a fine uh, two weight yarn suggesting 3.5 millimeter knitting needles and 3.5 millimeter crochet hook so I'm thinking of what, when I'm using these because it's they're such loud colors I might soften that or pull back the colors by choosing um, one of the colorways here and and, um, and supplying uh, that or applying a, a large broad color of it to kind of 
pull back from it being so variegated and loud. Here's the other one here in the color code 7206 and this is more pinks and greens. So the price point here, because I bought them as separate skeins, was $1.45 per skein. So that's an interesting um, turn of uh, yarn for me. And I, I'm interested in you working them up. The other ones weren't, <laughs> I wasn't as impressed with. And I'll tell you why. It's because I felt that they would be um, similar to the Baby Active that I showed just now. And a bit of a tip here when you're shopping, like I was for this sale, was walk away from your, uh, your selection of uh, choices and come back to it. Like leave them sitting there in your cart and then come back and read the specs again just to be sure that you are getting what you think that you're getting. So just to recap, this is what I got and loved, the, the acrylic. And then when I purchased these ones, I thought I was going to get the same skeins, but they ended up being these little itty bitty ones. So that was my fault because I didn't read the, uh, the specs uh, properly. So about these skeins, they're 50 grams, which gives you 125 meters, and the collection is called Catania Colors. The code here for the colorway number is 0223 and the composition of fiber is where are you? 100% cotton. It's in a it's in a tweed twist of um, variegated strands so I'm not too sure what I'm going to use it for it does suggest that you can uh, machine wash this lay flat to dry and they're giving the um, suggestion of using 3.5 to 3 sorry 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter crochet or knitting needles and I think that's all I can tell you about that. So I've got three of those in this colorway. Again, there's no colorway name, just that code number, 0223. And I also got it in this one, which is a little bit more vibrant with the greens and the blues. And this one is in the color code 0224. So I'm not too sure what to use those in. I'm going to... Uh, to leave them in my stash until something inspires me to pull them out. And um, I hardly use uh, such fine wool in, in, the twi in, the, in this tweed mull kind of twist variety. So I'm not too sure how that's going to work up. So I think that's about it. And a little bit of a disclaimer as uh, part of housekeeping rules here is that I'm not affiliated with uh, Hobium or any of the yarns that I've presented today. These are all my honest opinions and my opinions alone. So you may have used things or had have a different opinion on some of the items that I showed you. And uh, yeah, if, if you wanted to share those comments, you can please put them down in the comment section below. But I'm glad that you've made it this far into the video. I'm quite impressed. And uh, if you found anything of interest or if you are uh, inspired to try uh, yarn that I've uh, showed you, please hit the subscribe button, um, hit the thumbs up, like. It, it really uh, supports me and encourages me to go uh, continue with these uh, videos. And if you want to share these amongst your friends who are Yarny people as well, that would be great. The no notification uh, bell is there as well down somewhere here in case you want to uh, see future videos that I put out. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.